is hard Let's close that distance while you're so far from me Maybe we can go far Don't know why how you feeling I'm just trying to cut you stuff I bet if we can close that distance Gemini, how are you guys doing, man? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Triple Three Tarot. Gemini, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well. I hope you have a good start of the week. Happy Mercury Day for you, Wednesday. This when you get your readings. You are also paired with and partnered with Virgo. So if you have any Virgo in your chart or know any Virgos, go hit that video, share that video, like that video, comment on that video. Let me know where you're tuning in from as well. Um, we have a global community here, and I love to know where you guys are watching from. Um, Hit that like button, and if you guys are looking for personal readings, as always, this is not personal. It's not one one. It is collective. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If you want a personal reading, hit that link in the description box below. Beacons.ai slash mc triple three, and you will see a range of services that we offer. If you're new, you can use the code hashtag for um, use the code first timer, and you can get up to thirty three percent off your first reading. So. I appreciate that. We also, we, we, we're very flexible. So if, if there's things we need to arrange and work out and stuff like that, just let me know. We can book a free consultation. We'll talk about it on there. So appreciate you guys for working with me. Tap in on the collective ebook, The Trinity. Our ebook is now free officially on site. Go check that out and let me know your opinions. Don't hesitate to drop a review, drop some feedback. I love to know. I'm going to be tapping into the collective Gemini energy here right before I get into our spread. And I'm going to be pulling some cards here for you guys, Gemini. And this is going to get a look at, <laughs> we have the art card coming out first. A look at what every what y'all are going to be looking in, you know, what y'all kind of um, into right now. What, this, what the situation is going to look like based upon the collective energy and, you know, where you guys are at at a collective level <clears throat> without getting too, too specific into placements and situations, right? So I do see the art card first, which is a, a reference to the temperance. I do feel like you're divinely protected in some way, shape, or form. You're being guided to do certain things and put certain things in place. Um, that help expand your foundation. As I see the nine of discs at the bottom of our deck gain. Um, I do think like you're looking to expand your foundation. You're expanding your practicality and even ways of finance here to kind of allow you to gain a little bit more and a little bit more leverage over your foundation here. You're putting things in place. This is not just rewarding for you, but I feel like it's rewarding for others who are involved with you, giving back in some way, shape or form. Um, whether it's giving back to yourself in spirit or yourself and other individuals, yourself and family, but I do feel like it's nurturing for more than one party here. Um, the Prince of Wands, look out for some information that'll give you the confirmation you need on how, to on how to take action. There may be something that you're thinking about here or contemplating on how you want to move forward. I'm hearing wait. I'm hearing hold off. Just a little bit, there's going to be a message coming to you soon. So make sure you check in your voicemails, your emails, and all that stuff. You're going to get the confirmation you need. This can even be a conversation that you have that give you the confirmation to move to, to how to know how you want to move uh, move forward in the future or just on whatever you're doing there's something that you're doing here that you want to take action on but there's some information coming to you first if, if you haven't already been previewed to this information yet based upon what you're putting in place and things of that nature a young card i feel like you're entering a new time this is a this is a powerful shift for you you're standing up for what you built and the hermit energy virgo and you're going within to kind of analyze analyze what, what's coming to you, if this is the right thing for you to do, if this is the right direction you want to go. There's a lot of inner guidance and inner wisdom that you're following here, and then things are just falling out. You may notice things just falling in place in some way, shape, or form. <laughs> you know, like just, just you know, or, or, or falling out of place. So you have to really fix to put, maybe that's what this art card is, you're really fixing to, to do and put things back in place where you need to. Maybe that's why we have the Seven of Wands. You're standing up because things are kind of, you're noticing things come out of place in some way, shape, or form. There could have been something that's happening here. This can be, um, this could be something that has to do with the information that you received that allowed to kind of, that kind of shook up your foundation. Maybe it was some news, right? Um, but whatever you received, it was like, damn, okay, now you have to kind of, you're standing up, you're staying strong. Um, I'm here and go within, find guidance uh, internally so you can make the right choices that you need moving forward here, right? Because this has something to do with the stage that you're on as an individual. 
So you could have been, this could be the curation of like, you know, getting ready, getting things prepared, like preparation for something. Is there something that you're prepping for? Something that's coming, something that's new coming, something that you're like giving birth to or something like that. Um, but you're prepping and this information that you received gave you the confirmation that you need to move forward. And now you're standing up for everything that you built and what you prepped. Right. Um, I'm hearing go within. There may need to be some time where you kind of withdraw from certain things. So you really focus on your own well-being, your own internal um, wisdom. Right. Your own internal light. So you can kind of understand yourself, your body, your nervous system, your own uh, your own energies. Right. I'm hearing that's a very important thing right now. So you can shine the light ahead and, you know, see see the road ahead, you know, by, by your own inner guidance and understand where you need to be in your position that you're in right now currently. Let's clarify this art card, though. Let's clarify this art card. Let's see what's up. All my Geminis out there. Lust. I'm hearing sensuality. Could be feeling very sensual right now. Maybe like um, some sort of sensual, sexual energy. The way you're very happy, like something's very... Un un you're very united. I think you're at peace with the idea of how you set the stage or what you've curated for yourself. I think you've received information that has to deal with a relationship or a love connection. Some sort of confirmation that gave you um, incentive that you can move, that you're moving forward in some way, shape, or form with a love connection. There's something here that you receive some news that is allowing you to move forward farther. With a, with a love connection, right? So let me know, like, what, what's this news here? Um, we have the Princess of Wands. Could this be a child? Maybe, like, mm, we're going to be receiving news, and it, the, news, the news could be the news of a, um, a, newborn, a newborn baby girl. Definitely come back to this reading and let me know if that's, if that's a fact. Um... But this newborn is going to allow you to kind of, this is the manifestation of the actions that you've been taking with this love connection. You get what I'm saying? Like you gave birth to, to that. Um, that's at the bottom of the deck. But let's clarify. That's why you're standing up and fighting for something. Hmm. Very interesting here. Um, you're at peace with, the, with your mind. You're at peace with everything you've put together. I think you're at peace mentally with your partner. Um, let's see what's up, though. Let's see what's up. Let's see what, let's clarify this seven of wands. Clarify this seven of wands. Okay, so we got two cards coming out clarifying. Um, last two cards. So the Seven of Wands is something you're standing up for because you've worked hard towards it. You worked hard for this, so you ha you're, you're standing up for it. Um, whatever you're doing that's allowing you to go within, finding re meaning and reasoning or, or some sort of inner wisdom, um, it's a learning process for you. It's not as easy as it seems. There's something that you're learning that's not easy right now. But you're standing up for something because you built something that worked that works well. You set the stage for yourself that works well, and, you, and there's some sort of new status here. And this is a driving force to maybe why you're going within. I think you're understanding that when you go within, you're learning to harmonize your thought forms, right, and your ways of understanding in some way, shape, or form. Confirm with me, Gemini. Um, but there's a lot of harmony here. There's a lot of there's a lot of good looks. I think. There's something you have to stand up for. You receive some information to uh, push you forward with the love connections. You're standing up for something that you've curated and founded, but it works for you, right? It's in alignment with who you are and what you want to do. So you're not letting anyone shake that foundation. I think you're learning how to go within and how to balance the mind and how to balance your thought here, thoughts here, Gemini. The ideas that you have with yourself and others, I think you're learning, and what you built, I think you're learning to really harmonize it and learn how to communicate that and vocalize that. Like a higher knowing, right? It's very nice. Let's take, let's look at the situation. So if that resonated, y'all comment down below. Let me know what's going on here for my Gemini's here. I like it. I like it though. Something something's cool. You receive some sort of news. This is big. Yeah, that's gonna be the title. This is big, or this is big news. You know, I I really feel like this is some some big news or something like that. Yeah, see lovers. There's a choice or a love connection that you're really embracing that works really well. There's a choice you made. See the kids? There's a choice you made. You made a choice to maybe have kids, and it's working very well with your, for your foundation or for your sense of stability, for your practicality. Like your ways of thinking about it is very harmonious. You're very stable and structured about it. 
And I split the deck at that. You know, split the deck right at lovers. So that is your power card too, Gemini. The union of energies, right? So I'm gonna pull the spread right here. Let's get a look at let's get a look at the situation. Show me Gemini. Show me Gemini here, Gemini. Sun Moon Ascendant, Sun Moon Ascendant progressed. If you have any other placements as well, Saturn, Mercury, Mars, you can apply it in those areas as well if you know how to do so. Show me Gemini. Ten of Wands, completed action. You took a lot of actions to get where you are today. And there's a new cycle of how you're going to take actions in the future. Maybe whatever news that you received is is like, okay, yes, I finally achieved it. Like, yes, we finally did it. Now, now what? Right? And it's starting fresh. This is like a new chapter of your life here. Yes. See? Six of Wands, victory. You took the actions that... that Literally, you took the winning actions, right? Just mic checking quick, but you took the winning actions. Every action you took allowed you to win. And you're moving forward, with, there's, there's expansion here. There's expansion, there's victory. There was meaning and reasoning to why you took the actions that you've done. Possibly travel, but I feel like this is really bringing you a deep sense of wisdom. Um, based upon how you took action before, that's really Leo energy. I feel like you're very confident in the actions you took to get where you are, and you're moving forward with that. In your present energy, I think that this is expanding your ways of thinking, but you could also be overthinking a lot of stuff right now. Um, I feel like you can also be breaking, based upon this action, you could be breaking free from the ways of overthinking um, you're, that you may be used to here, Gemini. You could be used to overthinking in certain ways that used to limit you or stop you, but I feel like you could be breaking that, or there's a lot that you're overthinking right now. You could be worried about something. Um, or there's just a lot of outside opinions coming on to you right now, maybe based upon this news that you received or this victory that you achieved and move forward with. So be mindful of naysayers, be mindful of evil eyes, stay protected, stay withdrawn from certain energies and no longer serve you. Be mindful of that. There's the seven of discs as well, failure. Um, I feel like there's something here that failed before for you. This could have been this could have been something that you were trying, you know, giving birth to or, or trying to start for yourself, but some sort of practical thing to help with your foundation or maybe bring towards um, new foundation. But you you tried something here in the past that didn't work. Very nurturing, Taurus energy. Um, you tried, you tried, you tried. It may have not worked for you. So when it did work, you're very victorious. You're very happy about it. But now you have a lot of naysayers. This could, have, this could be business. This is finally getting your business off the ground. Finally getting that job you've been looking for. Finally getting that promotion you've been in. Finally achieving that relationship. Finally having that newborn baby. That finally worked out, right? Because you've been trying, looking at, you've been thinking about this path for a long time. Like, okay, yes, I want that future. This can lead me here. This will bring me this sense of stability and structure. But you never did it till, bam, right? I'm really getting that. See, we have the empress. This is literally family. This is literally birth, right? So if, if anyone has any news about a child, let me know. Let me know. But could not be. This is also, like, this is obstacle to overcome. So there may be a challenge, like it may be hard, it may be challenging right now, right? Because of this, because of this, uh, this influence right now, this, this child, right? This younger influence. Let me get my Rider Waite Smith tarot. Just put this off to the side. Ah, uh, see, and this is something that's divine. There's a divine calling. There's a divine outcome in this whole thing here. Before I get any farther, let's pull a mystery confirmation card for you, Gemini. I like it. Mystery confirmation card for my Geminis. What's up? Mystery confirmation. Okay, this landed right upside down. I'm putting it right here. Light it upside down, never seen it. We had the sun. See, birth, again, child. There's something that you, like, like literally, Leo, that's that solar plexus energy. There's there's some sort of child or something you're giving birth to. The light is being shut on something that you that you weren't previewed to before. You got some information about something that now it's very warm. It's very warming to you. It's very, very loving, very nurturing. What is it? Very fulfilling. Hmm. 
I'm curious myself. But let's keep let's keep moving on, right? So position four obstacles to overcome is the Empress. This is something that you have gave birth to or unified something here that was um that is something a very deep spiritual thing as well, you know? Like um just the fact of creation. This is creation, right? Coming bringing something into the 3D physical world from the spiritual world. Um, it's something that we deeply emotionally connect to. And it's something that allows for deep personal progression. And it's a little tough right now. You're already learning how to overcome it and understand that this is what, what this is news, right? This is actually here. It's like a realize it's like something that's here, a realization that you haven't really clicked yet. Hasn't really clicked yet, right? Um, we have the Princess of Wands coming out again, which we've seen during the collective reading. So I think this is something um, something that you're really seeing manifest and come to the world here. I think you're very emotionally connected to what you created and based upon the actions that you've took, seeing manifest now in the real world, in the 3D. And um, I think that could be... That can be anything. And I think that could be, like I said, again, before I mentioned a, a child, right? A, a female, a, a, a baby girl, things of that nature. I think based upon previous actions that you've took, maybe you've been working towards this birth. And now it finally happened. Now you're seeing it happen. And it's hard for you to realize. It's hard for you to make sense of, like, damn, this actually happened. You actually went with this power of creation here, right? So be mindful of that. Um, for some of you guys, maybe you weren't intending this. But I really feel like you were based upon Six of Wands and the, and the victory that you, were, that you were preview to. You know, you really wanted to take actions in some way, shape, or form with this thing. You may have a lot of naysayers, so be mindful who you share your thing, who you share this information with, because this airs information talking um dialogue be mindful um to protect this thing that's sacred right best path for you to walk is the knight of disc that's double that's fire and earth literally vision and earth um the vision and the will right the the, the motivation and the execution right from the spiritual to the material terra firma malakuth gaia right you're um you're seeing the vision come to life and you're moving forward towards the manifestation of it so even if you do see this what you've been based upon the actions you've been taking seeing it come to life now you're now you're understanding okay how can i continue moving forward with this and how can we continue leveling up and seeing more manifest out of out of the vision that we've seen for ourselves and out of the actions we've been taking this can also be creative actions creativity here gemini you could be doing things that are certain that, that are very creative here um you know giving birth to new ideas that are very of, of creativity and seeing that, seeing that actions that you've been putting towards your creativity start to manifest here within the outside world, and you're very emotionally, you're very emotionally connected to that. So now you're asking yourself, okay, how can I continue moving forward with this so I can continue stabilizing myself and creating a structure around everything that I'm doing here? This could have an, this, this is the outcome of the high priestess. This creativity could be something that that has to do with um, music, teaching, vocal, vocalist, writing, instrumentalist, um, any form of artist, painting, um, canvases, things of that nature. Uh, this could be school, religion, pope, you know, like like preacher um, type energy as well. Um, all that kind of stuff is the outcome here. So if this is creativity, that is what it is. Um, others of you, if this is like a family type situation or a kid type situation, intimate type situation, I think the outcome will be that you're, you're going to be the guiding light to other individuals to walk them through the process of whatever here, whatever that you've done here, whatever that you're going through, whether it's giving birth to a child, whether it's learning something new, whether it's something, whether it's a career thing, but you're going to be some someone that people come to just for life guidance in general. And based upon your experiences here that you went through, you're going to be able to teach that and teach others and bring bring guidance to others. So be mindful of that. That's a very powerful position. That's a very powerful outcome. I think you know based upon the actions, what you need, what what, what how to teach here, and what you need to say to individuals, and how to bring them that motivation, that drive, because it's a divine thing. And I think you understand, I think you're also very deeply connected to the divine. You could be very spiritual here, Gemini, as, a, as an air sign. I think you are, if you're watching this, you're one, you're one that's very spiritual, especially you're watching my, you're watching my reading. So um, I think you have a deep sense of spirituality with you. Make sure you guys are checking out your sun, moon, ascendant sign to get a holistic picture of the situation. I see fire, air, earth. Fire. Fire, earth. Earth, fire. I don't see any water, but the connection may not need to be there. The water, the opportunity, maybe it's already there. Maybe you already took it. Maybe you already took action on the opportunity. But I would like to see the lover's card. Let's see your power card again, right? Um, I'm not sure, but I do see like maybe some water. I see maybe like a little bit of um, 
you'd be like the ace of pentacles to give me confirmation that you're doing what you need to do to create the stability for yourself. You put things in position the way you want to put things in position, right? Um, it's up to you to create certain structures, right? So that would be nice. A pentacle earth. Let's check it out. What we got? Ah, swords. Okay. Knight of swords. Ah, page of swords. Sorry. Page of swords. So, yeah. So page of swords is like the prince... Page of Swords is like the Prince of uh, Prince of Swords. So be mindful of the information that you receive because you may receive some information that's going to allow you to give you the confirmation you need to separate from something or move forward with something here. Um, this could be a mindset, an idea that you had here. Maybe you're still on the fence. This could be why you're overthinking. But something's going to come to you where you're no longer going to overthink it anymore and that's going to give you the confirmation you need to move forward with it. Whether it's an idea, having a conversation um, that gives you the confirmation to move forward knowing how to express yourself here. That's that's your confirmation, so look out for that. And conversations are very important right now. Make sure you're talking to people. Make sure you're dialoguing ideas because that's going to give you that confirmation you need to propel. If you, if you have a partner, talk with your partner. See what their ideas are. See what they think about certain things. This could come out of nowhere as well. So as some, as some, as some other news to confirm an idea or, 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 to, or lead to a farther conversation on something, right? Maybe someone's coming to you for advice to actually dialogue and, and, and learn something from you, right? So be on the lookout for that. That's the confirmation that you walk in the right path right now. As we close out here, Gemini. I want to let you know that you are the most important part of the Triple Three Tarot here. We have a lot of Geminis. I like to tune in on the page. So I thank each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart. I'm very, very grateful and gratitude. I just want to say I'm watching from afar and I'm rooting for you. Namo Himalaya. If you guys want an extensive, First link in bio, you already know. Ebook out now, Trinity, three step system to authenticity. Love, gratitude, you got this. Have a good week. MC Triple Three, we are